let's talk about what a CI specialist does and what is continuous improvement within an organization anyway. Hello, I'm Tom. Welcome to my channel where we talk about continuous improvement in an industrial setting. And, you know, last week I got asked this question. Can you explain what a CI specialist or a CI manager does in an organization? Well, yes, very good question. Let's discuss a bit. And uh, I understand that for many people, this is not a clear-cut answer. I will say also for people within continuous improvement, this is not always a clear-cut answer. But I'll try to get as close to what our role within a business is as I can get. And for that, it is very good to also make the um, a bit of the distinction what continuous improvement is and isn't uh, by checking fields that are quite close and to see it in an organizational setting. And when we check it in an organizational setting, what you will almost always see also popping up very close to continuous improvement or CI is performance excellence. And these two are very close. Now, performance excellence, and in fact, uh, I would say that continuous improvement is a part of performance excellence, uh, but that does not always mean that each organization makes it uh, like an org chart part of performance excellence. Many will do, uh, but then on, uh, on their corporate levels, quite often, and far from always on factory levels. Many times at factories you will see a separate CI department, but not a separate performance excellence department. And what is basically the role of these two? Well, performance excellence is doing things better. Right, doing, making your performance world class. So that means uh, good speed, lower cost price, really doing what you should be doing and doing it correctly. Continuous improvement is also working on this, of course. So the distinction is that continuous improvement mainly works with what we already have. The nice way to say it is that continuous improvement is sweating the assets. So you already have things in your organization like um, buildings, like equipment, people. Make sure you get the maximum performance out of what you already have. And here I think is one of the key distinctions between continuous improvement and performance excellence because within the sphere of performance excellence you will almost always also find the, the big network, so between factory decisions and investments, so capital expenditures. Capital expenditures, capex, projects, a lot of project management, uh, your IT, OT infrastructure, so a lot of this type of support stuff that is um, building the new stuff, making sure that you get nice new assets, uh, that your whole production organization is moving towards a more excellent performance, so better performance, that is all within performance excellence. But as soon as it really gets to big infrastructure things uh, or buying new lines or buying a whole new factory or which factories to buy, that is outside of continuous improvement. Within continuous improvement, we are trying to get the best performance out of the stuff we already have, the lines and the people. And what you will see a lot here are things like Lean, Six Sigma, uh, Total Productive Maintenance, these type of, of programs. And I think the one program to really define what continuous improvement is, is the Kaizen ideology. So making lots and lots and lots of small directed improvements. We're not buying a new line. We are making sure that we are fixing this type of breakdown tomorrow, a different type of breakdown. In a year, we will have a much better operating line than we had today. So that is really what we are about if you compare it to other things. Now I said that uh, on a factory level what you will often see is that there is well they either in factories call this whole thing performance excellence and CI is in or uh, CI is its separate a separate thing, so a lean office is, is a CI thing. So any of these terms, if you have a Kaizen group or a lean office or a Six Sigma engineers, this is the, the CI department, so to say, the CI part of your organization. Because what you will very often see at factories is that these big investments and also the IT, OT landscape, so your, um, your communication technology, 
your computers, your PLCs, things like that, that they are in the maintenance department. And that is not so much because they are maintenance, but because often the broader maintenance department, so your chief engineer or your maintenance manager, also has projects under them. So projects, uh, your OT landscape, and the maintenance of your hardware, that is all very often at a factory based around the same department. So a chief engineer, an engineering department. And in such factories, what you will often see is that CI is much closer to the direct operation, so much closer to production. And what you will also quite often see is that your CI department is together with technology. And then I mean process technology. So we're not talking R&D, research development, no real big new stuff. But when the technology people at a factory are mostly working on how can we make sure that our current project portfolio, maybe with some uh, small updates here and there or uh, a product introduction from time to time, but not researching the new stuff, making sure that we can make it as optimally as possible. So the, the recipes have to be correct. We want to follow all the quality guidelines to make a nice product and do it with as little material as possible. And this of course is very close to the CI mindset. And this is also why they make a good team. So technology focuses a lot on the material component. CI often focuses a lot on the standards, uh, how to operate the machine, how to work with everything, also the people uh, those parts and then uh, in your maintenance department and that's sometimes a little bit of a, a little bit of a clash if they are really together in an engineering department your maintenance uh, department will look mostly on the state of machines so often it's CI that is more about how do we use machines maintenance about how do we keep our machines well so that being said about the role and, and sort of the place of continuous improvement within an organization and of course CI specialists uh, work within the CI managers, make sure that this is driven so that the CI specialists can do their work. We work on a number of, of spheres. So we have, let's say, a couple of lenses to look at our operation. So we look at the, the operational system, so really uh, how do our machines and our people and our processes behave? So this here, you will see a lot of, uh, especially a lot of Six Sigma stuff coming back, but also the Lean uh, TPM guys. And this is about you know, fewer breakdowns, uh, better material efficiency. This, this really goes into how do we make sure that our processes are optimal. And the type of work you will then do is indeed reduce the breakdowns or find ways to eliminate defects in the production, in, in the lines, um, uh, also in planning processes, but this is really about your operations. And you also check how is our management system around it? So do we have uh, correct KPIs that we steer on? Are we good in detecting anomalies, detecting problems? When we do detect them, uh, do we define good and effective actions to combat it? And do we have a management system to make sure that our operation is optimally steered, so that it's optimally managed. And this is more about uh, how do we communicate, strategize, uh, control, and what you will hear a lot, uh, especially in, in the quality uh, corner, is uh, the PDCA, so plan, do, check, act. That is really a management thing. Um, so the lens that we then uh, put on to look at our organization is, do we make good plans with actions, do we then check and validate and adjust where needed. And the same goes for, um, uh, so that sort of like for an improvement plan, but also a regular production plan. So we, we budgeted specific line speeds because we know that the lines can, can do it. Then we are performing our day-to-day -day operations, production, and do we check whether we are not still on our standards and if not, act to make sure that we are again on our standard levels. And this management lens is of course also a very important part. You will not see it as much in the, the other parts of performance excellence, so to say. This is really uh, a continuous improvement thing. And behavior as well. So behavior uh, is about do we make sure that we have a, a lean culture uh, or 
is everyone hunting for zero waste, zero defects, zero accidents? Safety, of course, is also a big part of how we want to run our business. And do we manage safety? Do we have the correct things in place to have safety? But also, is everyone aware of uh, how important it is, what we do, how, that, how they can be more safe? The same goes for, uh, are all of our people aware of their own impact on quality, on our performance, uh, on any parameter, any part of the uh, efficiency of the productivity of our processes. This is a very important part where within the CI community, within continuous improvement, we will be focusing on, uh, especially on the internet. You all hear CI much more in when we talk Lean Six Sigma uh, wastes and stability, but do know that as a CI specialist, you will always be looking at all of them and the behavioral impact of uh, when people see a problem popping up, do they really take the correct actions on it or do they take their own responsibility to already ensure that there is no problem? Things like that. How do we communicate with each other? Is it a nice way of breaking through barriers or are we creating silos between departments? Because in the end, how we as people operate our processes, that makes the world of difference in our effectiveness and a good efficient and, and successful companies, they have a much, uh, a much more output and together focused organizational culture. And that is basically a behavioral trait. Now, to steer all of this, there is sort of a fourth lens. Um, although I don't really like to look at it as a lens, these are three very good lenses. But the, the thing combining them all and that is a very important part within CI also to, to check and to know that you're actively involved in the improvement is your leadership. Because we need a good, strong leadership, vision, strategy, and pull through. So, so also the commitment from leadership and uh, empowering people, making sure that mistakes are corrected, motivating uh, and setting the course. We need it in all of them. We need it to, to make sure we have good operations, good processes. But our leadership, uh, our higher managers are the ones setting the example also on how we manage our process. They have to also communicate. You cannot effectively manage your organization if there is no clear strategy, no clear message where we are going, where to focus, where to, uh, to move as, an, as a whole organization and why we should do this. And, Leadership just has a crucial role in that and of course the behavior. I think that is the, the one most often associated with leadership, but it really encompasses all of them. So that means that as a CI specialist, from time to time you may be really just you know, solving breakdowns, but then not you know today's breakdown, but making sure it never happens again. Root cause analysis, better preventive maintenance plans, really get uh, into the practical details and you can get very, very deep into the, and those details, especially if you're going the Six Sigma way, you are going to go really deep in how your process works and stabilize it. You will probably be facilitating uh, performance control meetings, uh, checks on uh, how we train our people, do we have the correct uh, skills and, and how do we manage things like that, how are communication lines going through our departments, uh, through our company. So a lot of coaching facilitation on that and also very often uh, you will be involved in uh, behavior programs or making sure that there is a, a nice atmosphere that we are uh, identifying and steering towards the, um, the, let's say the wanted types of behavior, the, uh, the, the types of behavior that our leadership uh, decides is the most fruitful for our organization. And indeed also challenging leadership uh, so, so challenging higher up managers, but also the, the more informal leaders everywhere in the organization on their role and, and making sure that this all flows towards getting an excellent performance. So it's a, it's a very broad job. That's also uh, what I like so much about it. And you will see that, that many staff departments, many, uh, basically everyone who is in operations will have a link with continuous improvement because in the end, Everyone in the operation should be continually improving to get to a world-class level. 
your role as a CI specialist or a CI manager is to facilitate and, and support this change. So this moving towards ever faster and faster, guys, and ever faster and faster improvement by the whole organization. And it depends a bit on the factory or on your company, what area will be focused on. Production is a, it is a very common starting point. And at some point as a CI specialist, you will be working with all the departments. It just depends on what part of your organization is currently uh, the most in need of or has the best potential to improve the whole. And that's where you will support. So I hope that this um, sort of explained where CI fits in the organization and especially also what you can expect to, to do as a CI specialist. Do know that uh, especially as a specialist, you can still focus on one or two of these areas. You don't have to be able to, to know it all. It's also part of a learning journey. And as a CI manager, well, you are more expected to, uh, to have a good understanding and the steering on all of these aspects. Now, if you like this explanation, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you would like any, any other parts of CI or any of these terms explained, do drop me a comment. I, I'd love to hear. Uh, what I would also like to know is where is CI in your factory? So uh, if you work in a company where you have CI and technology and, and performance excellence, how is it organized in your company? I've, I've seen a, a number of different organizational models and it's just very interesting, I think, for me, but also for others to, to see what options are available out there. For now, I wish you the best of luck with your continuous improvement and also don't forget to enjoy that improvement journey.